The respawn devs are listening to the community and finally we are seeing some hints towards the salvation of Apex Legends ranked. There have been a lot of called for changes and it seems like they have actually been taking notice to the community's feedback. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest, 8 second gaming and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down some information we have just gotten on upcoming ranked changes. But first, if you guys are looking to get a jumpstart and start preparing for the rank changes coming, then you need to check out the Game Leap website. Over there, we have highly informative guides and courses all made from top tier Apex Legends players aimed at helping you climb. If you are to study our courses, you will see drastic improvement in your skills. So click the link in the description, pick yourself up a membership, or I'll swap all the contacts in your phone. But okay, let's get back to these rank changes. Now, we have seen a lot of comments on our videos. We have made a few of them talking about the state of Apex ranked, and we've been asking for the community's feedback on all of them. So out of all of these comments, we see this type in particular all the time. Comments like this one from Yman saying, simply tweak the entry costs so there's actually a player base in Diamond. Players all over social media have been voicing some concern over the entry costs and, well, it seems like they may actually get their wishes. This picture, leaked here by AG420, shows the new points system. And if you look, you will see that the entry costs have actually gone down by 10 RP across the board. So for example, something like Gold 3 went from 42 RP to 32 RP. And to some players, 10 RP may seem like a very small amount. But over the course of multiple games and grinding out sessions, this 10 can add up very, very quickly. So with these changes, players will actually start to see more RP out of games, especially in games where they aren't able to place as high due to potential third parties or unlucky ring pulls. This game is still a battle royale. There are aspects of it where players can just get unlucky, and it sucks to be heavily punished for that. Part of the game that has been killing a lot of drive for people to grind rank is the higher RP cost that the season brought. People will be reaching certain ranks and falling harder because of these higher costs. So with these changes, Respawn may have actually done a good change and is now making the system even better. Now there are a few other major issues that the rank system has that people are hoping get addressed. And I'm sure the major one that's popping up in everyone's heads and you're all thinking is that it's the matchmaking system. You're seeing something like golds and platinums going up against predator squads and that is never a good thing and that should also never be happening ever. And in theory it does seem like it's a pretty simple fix. Just stop pulling from gold and plat lobbies and the issue should go away. The only lobbies that should be using to fill pred games is diamond. Now, I'm not a programmer. I know very basic things about coding, so I'm not sure exactly how simple it is in actuality. There could be some major thing in the code stopping them from implementing it that we just aren't aware of, but they did change the game a few seasons ago to separate diamond and pred lobbies more. It used to be, as soon as you hit diamond 3, you were considered to be in those lobbies and the game would start pulling you into the pred lobbies. But it was changed later, so diamonds would mostly fight diamonds, and only in special rare cases would someone get dragged into a predator lobby. However, now, in season 13, it seems like they may have tried to compensate for the expected drop in higher ranked players and accidentally just overtuned it. And that is what's causing all the platinums and golds to now be sucked into those predator lobbies. So fingers crossed that it is actually a simple fix and we do see it coming into the game. But another thing that has been talked about a lot is the total amount of RP needed in order to get to a specific rank. Respawn did increase the amount at the start of the season, and it's been a fairly hot topic and debated about a lot. Some players are upset that it now takes more time to get to spots they wanted to be in. Getting to a desired rank now takes potentially an entire split for some players. But with the lower cost per entry, the increased cost may not be as big of a factor anymore. With the 10 less RP costs, on average, a player will move up about roughly three divisions if they're able to keep going at a consistent rate. So players who were in high gold will start to see themselves breaking into platinum, and those increased costs won't be as big of an effect. The rank split is also meant to be a grind. It's supposed to be a split long task. Respawn is trying to find that perfect balance and they are tweaking small things at a time. 
too little total RP and we see inflated amounts of players in high ranks like in Season 12, too much total RP and we see players get frustrated and giving up like they are kind of now. And this is something that will take a bit of time. Balancing and getting a rank system right is a tough situation, especially for a battle royale where there are so many factors. They have to be weighting what aspects of the game should be worth more and what ones should be worth less, and that will never be an easy task. But as of right now, I think we are actually in a fairly decent state with just a few more tweaks. Now, I know that some people aren't going to agree with me on that statement, but just hear me out quickly. Right now, we have the foundation set for the best rank system ever. Kills and placement are going hand in hand right now. Kills aren't worth anything if you can't also place well, and placement isn't worth much if you can't also get kills. So in order to actually climb, you need to be able to do both consistently. You can't rely on just one aspect of the game. Then, with the upcoming changes to the RP cost and hopefully some more tweaking on the matchmaking balances, we will start to see a super healthy competitive environment that not only pros enjoy, but casuals do also. Now, in terms of when we will see these changes come into play, it's kind of hard to know exactly. We have never seen mid-season rank changes before, but there is a first for everything, so it is potential we will see these come in at the start of Split 2. It would also bring in a lot of hype, because the second split of this rank season is on World's Edge, so adding up rank changes and World's Edge is a recipe for success. If it isn't at the split, however, it would probably be at the start of the next season. Now, I personally think the rank changes are going to come in at the split. That will then give Respawn another set of data and allow them to make more meaningful changes at the start of season 14. I think the main reason that they're in the files right now and that we are able to get these leaks is because Respawn is fully planning on bringing them in next split. That way, instead of getting massive changes every season and having to adjust for the ranked, once again we get small changes split by split. That will also then help casuals because they're not having to adjust to massive rank changes every season with their small amount of playtime. So I am pretty hopeful for the changes to be coming in on the second split and I do think that it will change the way the ranks played and make a lot of people happy. But now I want to hear from you guys, how do you feel about the lower entry costs? Do you think that that is enough to bring players back to ranked and really save the grind for a lot of players, or do you think Respawn needs to do more? Let me know in the comments down below and let's see what people think. But with that being said guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did and you're interested in staying up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.